All right, so we're going to get ready to form our meatballs now. Absolutely. You just have to tell me what size. What we do. Yeah, just, uh, you know, listen, this is not science. This is I always the do art like of this. cooking. But so we got to stick. Um, we do. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to just, just start to get those formed, and then we're going to open. And we are stuffing these with um, the wet buffalo. Fresh buffalo yeah, mozzarella. mozzarella. Yeah, this is going to be absolutely awesome. This is a nice twist to, I can't get, the, I can't get it open. Honey, this is a nice, can you help I, us? No. no, you know what the problem is? Come on. Don't worry about the glass. There it's you go. Really okay. Good. All right. Okay, hey. that's better. Is this a good size? That's better. <laughs> okay, look at that. Can you get a shot of that? That's what fresh mozzarella is supposed to look like. Look at that. There it's beautiful. Going. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is we're just going to dig a little hole in there. Okay. We're going to pop one of these in there. And then we're going to mold it around it. We're going to kind of... Okay. So what we're doing is we're stuffing these meatballs with fresh, fresh mozzarella. Okay. In water. Not that stuff that comes in a block. That's not mozzarella cheese. I don't know what that is. It's in so here. That's it. It's in there. Okay, so we want to roll it like this gently into a nice round ball, just like that, and set it on the sheet. Oh, you're better at that than I am. I always did it like this. I don't know why, but it's like my thing when I make meatballs. I kind of. Well, then you just do your thing. My thing. Do your thing. You never know where in New York. No. Nope. Do your thing. Do your thing. Okay. So we just kind of roll the meatballs like this with the mozzarella in the center so we get it nice. We want to try and get it as uniform as possible because that's one of the reasons why we're deep frying the meatballs is so that we can keep them, so that we can keep them nice and uniform. That's all right. You can, you can have bigger meatballs. It's not going to hurt anything. Okay? Right. Okay. So, get this going here. There we go. Yeah, look at that. We've got a whole system going here. I know. We? So I hope that everybody's been able to see what we're what we're doing. Um, so you form your meatball, you make a little hole in here, you take your mozzarella, put it in there. That's right. Cover it up. And, and we don't want these, we, we're not putting a ridiculous amount of mozzarella cheese because when these cook, that mozzarella is going to want to escape right. out of the meatball. So we don't want too much. It gets overpowering and it kind of takes away from the flavor of the meat. And these are going to be absolutely fantastic. So we don't want to, we don't want to overpower the flavor of the beef and pork that we're using for this. I always like using pork. I think pork adds a distinct flavor. It really um, does. It's different. It, it, it actually changes the whole, it does. The whole flavor so of the good. meatball. So. I always put it in the sauce. Pork in the sauce is always the best. Yes. Normally when I make sauce, if I'm not making meatballs, normally I'll put I'll take some, some thin cut chop, mm -hmm. pork chops, and fry them up, saute them real nice, sear them on both sides, and then let them cook slowly in the sauce. Yeah. And it's just the flavor that it imparts to the sauce is absolutely fantastic. 